Hey guys, another mechanical video for you. Got a 2016 Dodge Caravan here with 22,000 miles. A uh, customer had the vehicle towed in, said that uh, it started smelling like gas and started misfiring and then it quit running altogether and had fuel leaking from underneath the engine. And uh, this is a common issue. We've actually seen this a lot on Dodge vehicles with the 3.6 liter engine the V6 engine, and I'll show you what's going on here. So you try to start the van, you get a sputter and crank no start and just nothing. And you get a really strong odor of gas. So let's go look under the hood and I'll show you exactly what happened. So if you go under the hood and you take off this little shield here, set that off to the side, you can find the fuel line right here next to the oil cap and or the oil filter cap rather and sure enough as you can see the fuel line has separated from the rail that's supposed to be snapped in place there and there's supposed to be a little clip that holds this in place but as you can see the clip has broken it's fallen down into the intake here i'm gonna see if i can get this out here we go with that uh handy tool from the girlfriend again good old Gerber see if I can fish it out of there there it is so here's a little piece that broke so you can see that's our point of failure so what this is this is a little retainer that holds a fuel line in place it's supposed to clip inside line here as you can see a little difficult to manage there that's how it's supposed to look and what those little white plastic pieces do is grab the fuel rail down here and keep it from sliding off like so the problem is when the plastic retainer fractured and failed eventually it works its way loose falls out and the fuel pressure pushes the line off the rail and then you get a fuel leak and a crank no start concern and a concerned customer because of fuel leaking so that's the problem and like I said this is this has been a concerningly common issue we've I've seen this I don't know how many times where these lines blow off and leave customers stranded it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty serious problem I think to have fuel leaking like that especially on a hot engine so the little clip will get replaced. That's usually all we have to replace on these. We usually don't replace the line. Some people do. I personally don't. But that's the fix to this. Anyways, hope you guys found that interesting.